Hello everyone. In this lecture, you learn about Soil compaction Types of compaction Why need to compact Factors affecting compaction Please subscribe to my channel For more interesting videos Compaction is the exertion of force On something So that It becomes denser Soil compaction is the method of mechanically increasing the density of soil it may be defined as removing the air in between soil partials by appling load to decrease the volume or increase density of soil types of compaction majorly there are four types of compaction effort use for compaction of soil and asphalt pressure impact vibration kneading these different types of effort are found in the two principal types of compaction forces called static forces and vibratory forces static force is simply the dead weight of the machine applying a downward force on the soil surface static compaction is confined to upper soil layers and is limited to any appreciable depth the vibratory force uses a mechanism usually engine driven to create a downward force in addition to the machine's static weight the compactors deliver a a rapid sequence of blows to the surface thereby affecting the top layers as well as the deeper layers why compact the soil has different engineering properties such as cohesion porosity permeability elasticity compressibility to improve these engineering properties of the soil we need compaction compaction increases load bearing capacity of soil to sustain building load prevents soil settlement to minimize structure damage Provide stability. Reduce porosity and permeability. Compaction removes air and water to reduce porosity. Cementing clay mineral reduces permeability. Reduces swelling and contraction. Factors affecting compaction. For soil compaction, we also say making it denser. So, the factors that affect density of soil affect compaction. There are three major factors influencing soil density which are Soil gradation Moisture content Compaction efforts Soil gradation greatly affect compaction Well-graded soil gives good compaction As well-graded soil consists of all sizes of particles Which fill the void space as well On the other hand Poorly graded Uniformly graded and gap graded soil cannot be packed well as a result leave more void spaces thus gives lower compaction moisture content also affect compaction this is the proctor curve of soil we can see at low water content the soil is stiff and offers more resistance to compaction as the water content is increased the soil particles get lubricated thus it results in good compaction higher dry density is achieved upon the optimum water content increasing water greater than optimum level soil loses rigidity thus compaction decrease compaction efforts depend on soil type for any specific soil if required compaction machine is not used we cannot get good compaction soil may be cohesive or granular cohesive soils mostly composed of clay and silt its particles stick together therefore a machine with a high impact force is required granular soil also called cohesionless soil is a free running type of soil it has no silt and clay so not stick together. Granular soils particles require a shaking 
or a vibratory action to move them. Its strength depends on friction between particles. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.